I hope you can make everyone's... I'll just wing it. Let's start a stampede. Followers of Etro. They were run out of the cities for being heretics. 
and fled here, a land blighted by the goddess's temple, where no others dare to tread. of legends? The White Chocobo! I, I am one of the believers, awaiting the world's end. And you, you, you are the bringer of the end. That creature with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety. Your mission was to bring me here, to the gates of this temple, and you've completed that task. From here on in, I go it alone. What happens next is the Savior's job. The Temple of the Goddess. It was not originally a part of this world, but was left here when Valhalla fell. Legends tell us that the Great Chaos sleeps within this temple's walls. It would most likely refer to the power that has destroyed this world. The unseen chaos that has torn the world apart, and it was unleashed by one man, all because he wanted to stop time for a girl he loved. Caius Ballad. If only I could have stopped him earlier. But I didn't. appeared in the temple, and the chaos reacted to it. Is someone manipulating the chaos somehow? Or does it actually have a will of its own? The chaos in that temple is not the normal kind. That is obvious enough. What are you trying to do? There are no souls here for you to save. Just dead people waiting for the end to come. I knew it. You know nothing. You don't know what this place is. But I do. It's a graveyard for the living dead. No one here seeks your salvation. We seek only oblivion. So, we meet again, Caius Ballad. It's been a while. 
woman who would be goddess. But you are no goddess now. You are a hunter of souls. <laughs> By now. Ah, death. Were it so. But they won't let me die. Instead, I must haunt these halls a corpse living a life bereft of meaning. Savior, the temple of the goddess has become a shrine to chaos. A place for the dead. A world where the living dare not tread. But if they do... They must be ready to face the chaos. Hey! When you're inside this temple, you're going to lose your powers. You don't belong here. You should leave while you can. Are you giving me safety tips? That's not like you. So, you're, uh, going after him. You must really hate him. Though I guess he did destroy the world, right? <laughs> Light, are you okay? Respond if you can hear me. I'm fine, but it was a long fall. How far down am I? Can you tell? You seem to be on the lowest level of the temple. Give me a second to find a route out. That was an unpleasant surprise, though. To think that Caius was still alive. I wonder, why would that man be trying to use the great chaos to thwart God's plan to hell? The line is full of noise. It's interference from the chaos. And it's probably not too good for your health, either. This great chaos is incredibly dense. My instruments can't handle it. The readings are off the scale. I'm not picking up any signs of other threats. It's just chaos. Just because you can't detect anything doesn't mean there's nothing lurking inside. In this chaos, I wouldn't trust your sensors to tell you what's going on. You're probably right. It's not called unseen chaos for nothing. You. You are God's savior. You lead souls to the new world. And you are the Cirrus, Padra Suyul. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Here you will meet the servant of fate, adorned with feathers of white, the angel of Valhalla. It was your voice. You were the one that I heard in the wildlands. Through the chaos, my message was born. I spoke so that you might know the future. And so that you would learn of my wish and make it true. Only the Savior can. It must be you. Me? What do you want me to do? Save the soul that cannot rest. Please, save Caius. He has lost his undying heart. He no longer wants to live. He yearns to die. But he cannot. The chaos binds him and forces life upon him. So, the man who wanted to stop time has managed to stop his own. And now, he's trapped. As the savior, you have to help him. Bring him salvation and release his soul. Yule. I don't know what's going on yet, but her presence here is no coincidence. She's connected with this chaos in one way or another. The unseen chaos that Caius let loose on the wall. We read the hidden paths of fate. Right. Are you hear me? The line cut out again. I'm fine. No need to panic. Well, I was a little worried, you know? This chaos is wreaking such havoc on my readings that I hardly know what's going on down there. 
All right, I guess you can't see what I'm seeing, but there are lights down here. I think someone is trying to show me the way. I guess I'll follow the trail. Padra Su Yul, the girl who could see the future, and Caius, her would-be guardian. Caius is here because of Yul. That much is obvious. But why is she here? Is she just a fragment of the chaos? Is she a mirage conjured up by the forces in the temple? Or is there something going on that's even more... Th we meet again. It is the first time for me. The Yule you met before was a different Yule. Alright. Huh. So that makes you a Yule from another era. Yes. One of the countless Yules. With all the memories of our predecessors, we are reborn over and over. And we die, over and over. I am but one of those tragedies. I had a wish of my own, though. I wish that I could live forever with Caius. I bestowed him with the power of chaos, all for that wish. But I was mistaken. When I gave him eternal life, he turned his back upon it, seeking only an end to all things. She was reborn over and over again until Caius managed to break the cycle. She should be dead, but instead she's alive inside this great chaos. Did you hear me talking to someone? No, I just got no answer when I tried to contact you, so I wondered. I guess it's just the interference. The chaos down there is really something. I've never seen anything so dense. Hope. What if someone was controlling the chaos? If... Savior, you must... The chaos is an illogical force in nature. There's no way anyone could direct it to act in concert. But if they could, well, destroying the world probably wouldn't be a stretch. So Hope really can't detect you. Then she must be part of the chaos.
keep up with you. It's just a fleeting dream. Life, are you doing okay? It looks like... He suffers because of us. Savior, can you save him? You're not the same Yule. The Seeress would die before she was grown and be reborn again and again. There's a Yule for every life. The same Yule, but all different. Right. And that's why they contradict each other. Some Yules don't want him to die, so they force him to keep on living. Others want to help him die, so that his soul can be saved. They push and pull. It's a mass of contradictions. I don't want to be involved. You already are. You've been sucked right into the middle. What do I do? Why don't you ask her? The truth lies ahead. Hard to imagine what it's like. For millennia, Yules were born into the world over and over. It's not as though they shared the same soul. They weren't the same person in every incarnation. Each Yule was different, but each of her souls was born with the very same heavy burden. And as each soul returned to the chaos, it was drawn to the others. Leading you. Now, they've become one. A cancerous mass of sorrow and pain and longing. That's what lives here in this temple. That's what you cannot say. She is the source of the great chaos. 